What can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they're not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, um, gotta go. Blah, blah. <sighs> I feel better now. It's the back door to the diner. What a mess. It's a speck of dust. It's my speck of dust. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. I can't get past that water. It says, after 34 years of serving the Tri-Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead-end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. That looks like Reyes's notebook. I hope he went back to the home office. Definitely Reyes's notebook. Tempting. But no, I won't bore myself. Definitely Reyes's notebook. Tempting. But no, it's the back door.
door to the diner. What a mess. It's locked. Pretty disgusting. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. ThimbleCon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. What can I do for you, honey? What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this is before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? Don't leave town. I'm watching you. Anytime. Looks awful. Not like the New York dogs I'm used to. The radio is turned on and tuned to 198.7 FM. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. It's already slightly open. I'm not going to open it anymore. Way too smelly for me. It's a dime just lying there. The pet store is for rent. Guess no one around here has any pets. There. Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Alrighty now. I can't quite put my finger on it, but this place stinks of false advertising. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. What an exciting life you lead. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Ray. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hon? Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. YouTube. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. If you get rich, you owe me a cut. Why did you stop selling cakes? Well, I didn't have much choice. People used to line up around the block for my muffins and pies. But over the past couple of years, business really slowed down. Oh, I'm not complaining though, because it's given me an opportunity to go in a whole new direction. Why did you choose to sell vacuum tubes instead? Well, hon, it's the darndest thing. At first, I just sold a few spares I had lying around to try and help the bakery. But pretty soon, those bad boys were selling better than the hotcakes going stale on my racks. Are you really this happy about selling vacuum tubes? Oh, you betcha. These tubes are my life's calling. I thought I'd miss the smell of fresh bread every day, but the smell of ozone from the tubes is even better. And their electrical glow is as warm as an apple pie fresh from the oven. 
I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Let me see if we have them in stock. <sighs> Bad news, I'm afraid. They seem to be on back order. Do you have another tube you're looking for? That's not a two-letter model identifier, hun. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? I'm all tubed out. Thanks. Okay, hun. Just holler if you need me. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Hey there! Let's go over to the counter where we can talk. Well, hi. Welcome to Ricky's Tubes. I'm looking for a tube. For a friend, not me. We have lots of tubes here. Over 3,000 different makes and models. Do you know the two-letter model identifier? And what is the make number? Oh, did one of the Hydrant Tron tubes burn out again? Uh, yes. The Pigeon Sisters need one right away. Okay, I'll put it on the town's account. I'll get one for you, hun. You just wait right there. I'll be back before you know it. Here you go. Give the pigeons my regards. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue, the buttons are missing, and the cord to the receiver is cut. Otherwise, it looks fine. Nothing in there but dust bunnies. Nothing in there but dust bunnies. Hmm. I haven't seen Reyes for a while. Wonder what happened to him. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. No one is in there. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No. I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Pirate. No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. 
mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64 with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Ricky Lee's famous thimbleberry pie, hot from the oven. Uncle Chuck wrote an epic poem about this gorgeous pie. I don't have time to eat pie right now, even though it looks great. It's Uncle Chuck's new invention, the Printron 3000. It's connected to my computer. I can't reach that. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bodeman's School of Mathematics. It's made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. These are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. It's a red gel decoder. Ada, you're my role model. Too bad you don't program games, though. Max was the world's first computer-generated TV host. Someday we'll have one for real. If it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. I think Revenge of the Jedi was a much better name. You're a rebel, Billy. Albert's my hero. It's graphic basic software from Hessware to supercharge my Commodore 64. It says it's by Ron Gilbert and Tom McFarlane. Wonder who they are. These are part of my action figure collection. These are my Kirk's Box slash fiction books. I'm a believer. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. There's nothing inside. 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 Carefully handling broken glass. 
If this were a Sierra Online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now. But those Mucus Phlegm adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay? Sure would like to work there. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. The fireplace looks very clean. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. It's a gas can. Don't get your hopes up, though. It's very dry firewood. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing! You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true. I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. It's our special Mailtron 3000 mailbox. Postman comes once a day. Digging? Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again all the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. Digging? Dig it. This is Uncle Chuck's Index Tron three thousand library filing lookup system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog books. Lots of books, but you have to know what you're looking for. It says, out of order. The sign says it's out of order. Chucky's been in our family for years. He's a good plant. Chucky has been sitting here forever. I don't want to move him now.
That sounds like the doorbell. That sounds like the doorbell. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. As expected, the post office's poorly programmed auto stamp cancellation machine has failed again. Amateurs. It's a door. Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Don't gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. Your brothers! Take a chill pill! You started the Pillow Factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my .8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. <laughs> 